And my today's topic is digital system, its uses and benefits. First of all, we will look into what is digital system. A digital system represents information by using digits. Each digit represents a small amount of information because each digit comes from a small set of choices. A binary digit is called a bit. Digital computers and digital communication like the internet usually use binary. And binary is the language of computers which is widely used worldwide. Digital system. A system is a set of related components that work as a whole to achieve a goal. A system contains inputs, behavior and outputs. Input is a data that we put into the system while behavior is the process that is being performed on the input data. And output is the data that we get at the end of the processing uh, function and this is the processed form of the data. I would also like to state that digital system is a system in which signals have a finite number of discrete values. Analog system has values from a continuous set and mixed signal system has both digital and analog parts. I would like to tell you some of the uses and examples of digital systems. Digital system is uh, used in military, medical equipments, radar navigation, while some of its examples are mobile phones, washing machine, television, digital calculators, and digital watch. Characteristics of digital system. Data is represented in a digital system as a binary variables. Binary variables are the language of a computer, which is which consists of zeros and ones. And this is the only language computer can understand. Digital systems can provide accuracy uh, over a dynamic range, limited only by the number of bits used to represent a variable. Digital systems are less likely to produce errors than analog systems. Data representation is a digital system is uh, less likely uh, is more likely to to detect errors and to do the correction of data. Digital systems are designed in a hierarchical manner using reusable modules. To clarify the hierarchical manner, it means that uh, modules are used modules are used and stated uh, according to their ranks. Now, we will discuss about difference between analog and digital signals. An analog signal is any continuous signal for which the time varying feature, which means variable, of the signal is a representation of some other time varying quantity. For example, analogous to another time varying signal. It differs from a digital signal in terms of small, fl small fluctuations in the signal, which are meaningful. On the other hand, digital signal uses discrete, discontinuous values. By contrast, non-digital or analog system use a continuous range of values to represent information. Although digital representations are discrete, the information represented can be either discrete such as numbers or letters or continuous such as sounds, images and other measurements of continuous systems. One other difference that we could include is signals are represented by two methods, digital and analog system. Digital signal is limited to only a few possible values generally represented by binary logic. Uh, uh, sorry, binary logic zero, which varies from zero to 0 0.8 volts, and logic one, which varies from 2.0 to 5.0 volts, whereas analog signal varies continuously. One other difference that we can include here is 
Digital as well as analog system both are used to transmit signals from one place to another like audio and video. Digital system uses binary format such as zero and one, whereas analog system uses electrical pulses with varying magnitude to send and receive data. Our next topic is benefits of digital system over analog system. Digital system is usually very cost effective. Secondly, it is easier to design and understand. Third thing is it works well with numerical and non-numerical information processing. Fourth point we can include is it has high tolerance for noise. Fifth, we can say that uh, digital signal are easier to duplicate similar circuits and complex digital circuit. And lastly, we can say that adjustable precision and easy to handle by computer. So these are the benefits and or advantages of digital system. Now I would like to tell you some of the disadvantages of digital system over analog system. Digital system has low speed. And secondly, uh, we, uh, we need converters to use the digital system. For example, analog to digital, uh, digital converter and digital to analog converter, because our physical world is still in analog disk system while computers are working in digital systems. So this is our difference and we have to bridge this gap in order to convey our messages easily. Lastly, I would like to tell you the uh, uh, importance of digital system in today's world. Digital system plays a key role in the modern era as they are used in various applications in all fields of human activity. On the other hand, digital technique is a blueprint for an organization's digital authentic state. Companies represent their data in the form of digital system, respective of whether it is in video, graphic design, internet design, and style. Thank you.